Hello, my name is Greg George. I'm an AE with GeoMagic. Today I wanted to show the HandyProbe integration with GeoMagic Qualify. As you can see here, I have a C-Track 780 and I'm connected to the HandyProbe here and I'm going to probe inside of Qualify and show a basic inspection. First I want to start out by conducting an iterative alignment. Then I'm going to do a true position call out then I'm going to follow up with a circle to circle hole measurement and then we can create a report. So for the first step I'm, just, I'm going to go into this interactive alignment tool. The way this works is I select at least three points on the surface of the part and then I go ahead and I probe those same three points on the, on the CAD model and then from there it iterates and creates an alignment between the CAD model and the probe itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark six points. On the CAD model, so those are going to be my targets, and you'll see how interactive it is as we iterate through this through this alignment. The first thing I'm going to do is probe, and you'll see that it gives me a preview of the first place that I need to I need to probe. So I'm going to probe that same point on the actual part. And once I collect that point, it'll bump over to the next part and give me a preview of that point that I need to probe. Now I'm going to probe point three. Now as soon as I probe the third point, it has a basic alignment. So from there, now I will get feedback and the software will zoom in and show me a preview of where I'm probing and tell me once I get within the target zone. So now I have my alignment. I just hit OK on iterative alignment. Uh, the next thing I want to do is create um, some features that I can then use to create a true position call out. So the first thing I'm going to highlight is we have this quick probe tool. And once I have an alignment, as I put the probe near the surface of the CAD model, it automatically determines based on the surface of the part what type of feature that I want to probe. So you can see on the top here, I'm going to go ahead and probe the top plane on the surface of the part. Another thing that's nice about this quick probe is it automatically associates it with the, the datum feature that it's in close proximity with. So after I probe my three points, I hit the check box to go ahead and offset the, the plane. So now you'll see here on screen that I have a plane that's associated with datum A. The next thing I can show is I can also use this gallery function to probe features as well. You can see here that I want to probe a cylinder. So I'm going to select cylinder and I can come down to the part and I'll go ahead and probe at least six points as it says here on screen. Once I probe the six points, I just pull to the center and hit the check button to compensate. And then you see that I have that cylinder on screen. <clears throat> I already have the datums created on the CAD model, so the next step, I can go ahead and create a GDNT callout. So if I come into this GDNT icon, and I select true position, 
I'm going to go ahead and put in 25 thousandths as my uh, tolerance here. I'm going to select my datum reference frame, A, B, and C. And then I click on the surface of the CAD model to select where I want that true position call out. And I'm going to hit save to save the perspective on the part here. Hit OK. And then I go ahead and I evaluate that call out and I say to use the hard probed points. And you see here that it fails the, the position call out is 26 thousandths out and uh, my tolerance is 25 thou. Now the next thing I want to show is, um, let's say that I need to measure the distance between these two holes. So without setting up a part, I can come over to this measure gallery and I can quickly just create a measurement between these two circles. So I select circle to circle. One nice thing about Geomagic Qualify is I don't have to probe since, since a circle is a 2D feature. I don't have to probe that plane. I can actually probe select the plane. So you can see here as I get near the, pro the planes, I can select which plane I want those circles to reside on. I click the probe. Do it. <clears throat> now I have that plane selected. Now I'm going to go ahead and probe circle one. Pull to the center to compensate. So you see there it created circle one. Now using that same plane of projection, I'm going to probe the second circle. So you can see here on screen that it automatically created a distance measurement between those circles and you see that it was 1.9642. If I want to, I can go ahead and type in a tolerance. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, 2 as my nominal. So that is a measure features between two circles. So I'm going to hit OK. Now the next step, now that we created those two different measurements, I'm going to go ahead and create a report. So if I come over to the Home tab, come over to Create Report, Everything that we've done so far, the GD&T call out and the distance measurement between the two holes will now dump into a 3D PDF report which I have set up. So you see here on screen, here is the report with the GD&T call out and the distance measurement between the two holes.